So about three years ago, my kids were just uh, starting high school and both of them asked me, Dad, how come we've never heard you cry? And about six months later, we went on holiday up on a mountain. Uh, the first night there had some funny feelings just before we had dinner and Google was saying yeah this seems to be like a heart attack so luckily Justin was there he's a good driver he rushed down the mountain him and my wife so they admitted me next morning we did some x-rays some sonar a CAT scan and they all said there's nothing wrong with me eventually they did the blood test again and realized it was a it was a heart attack and had to fly me with a helicopter to Pretoria I think the scariest thing for me was when the head cardiologist told me the possible things that can go wrong during this huge operation of four to six hours. Yeah, I went in for the double bypass and um, it was a huge success. But I went through lots of doubts, doubts about the ministry, do I still want to do this? Uh, went through periods where I was angry with God and, and then uh, after a year of, of recovery and getting back into things, the renters asked us to move region from the east of Johannesburg to the to the west side. I fell and actually uh, had a bit of an injury on my hip for a couple of months. One, one day I couldn't even walk anymore. I was crawling from the pain and so my wife took me to the doctor. They did an MRI scan and uh, admitted me, did a biopsy and found I have plasma cytoma which is a form of cancer. Finding out that Ivor had cancer after the heart attack, the double bypass, the move here and the emotional time it's been for the family, it was very overwhelming. I came home that night and I just cried and cried and cried and I thought, okay, this is new, what do we do now? So, so many times where I just, I just cried the whole day. So in two and a half years, I, I've definitely cried more than 49 years of my life. And so, uh, as, uh, as the psalm talks about, that God actually collects all our tears in a bottle. Uh, I think mine was pretty much empty when, when all this started and was quickly filled up uh, by all the tears I've shed. Uh, just after we moved uh, regions, uh, my kids by that time had each studied the Bible with different people, about two or three times, just never connected with God. And it was only after the heart attack and, and, and seeing me cry and how we responded to all of this that they finally both became Christians in the same year. I would have another heart attack for my third child if that's what it's going to take for him to become a Christian. In the meantime, my son was appointed head boy of the new school and that has now opened tremendous doors for him to reach out to people, to friends, to, to study the Bible and become Christians. And I think the other thing that I've really learned through all of this is just how incredibly valuable the kingdom is. The friendships, the relationships we have. Not one time did I have to feel uncomfortable to ask anybody because everybody just did it. People brought meals, they loved us, they supported our family. I've learned that God is not done with me. Uh, that even though God has done great things in the last 20 or 30 years, uh, I believe God has, our best days are ahead of us. And God wants to use us until we die one day. And God can do greater things than we can even ask or imagine.